uh, was doing, uh, you do a goblet squat, you know, grab a weight to play it or just do, uh, do body weight to start with. Um, the hammy band can be uh, really useful here. Hip circle. Hip there circle, sorry. Yep, no problem. Um, <laughs> I, I think about that. Grab a little bit of weight. Yeah. Oh. Thank you. God, that's heavy. So, <clears throat> first, you know, without going in a, a huge primer on breathing and bracing, but we're going to want to draw that rib cage down. We're not going to push it over. So we're going to draw it down. Basically pushing this right. that cone of a diaphragm down towards the bottom and bracing this area. Trying to push your, uh, trying to push your stomach kind of uh, like outward and outward this way, like outward and downward almost. That pretend we're trying the, to pretend do? the Duffin's standing next to you and he's going to punch you in the stomach. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, there, there we go. There you go. Right there. Nice. That's what you want to do. You want to be yeah. prepared for that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, gotcha. it, it's a really easy cue to think about because if right. you go, all right, let's do this. Yeah. You're going to be ready for to take that punch. Right. No. Boom. Gotcha. Solid. That's what we want. Okay. Erp. So you want that. Then we want to grab the floor with, uh, imagine you've got that eagle claws. Right. So we've got three points of contact here, here, and here. Trying to pick uh, stuff up off the jet. floor grab with my that, toes. Grab it and twist that floor apart. Gotcha. Um, as we're doing this. So we don't want to see those feet roll. Boom. Nice feet roll? Fire. Those glutes good. Boom. We're just going to do this a few sets. Make sure that there's no... Uh, Imbalances, see how it's feeling, like 10 reps, okay? The next one we're gonna work through, we're gonna jump into, uh, I wish I had a name for this damn one, but we're gonna start. Uh, we'll make it right now. <laughs> uh, the, uh, I, I call it the hip side to side, how's that? Uh, so you're gonna get in a kneeling position. <laughs> Make sure you've got hey full now. extension. And you're going to pick up one leg and put it 90. So that heels oh. straight across from that, uh, Whoop. From, the, from your knee. Boop. Move the heel out just a little bit further so it's 90 straight up and down. Okay. And now. Not this way. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Now we're just going to shift back and forth right here in this plane. So oh. that it's not a stretch, so we're not having to go far, but we want to break. Says you, my oh. friend. We want to just break onto each side of the, the hip. So right. here you can see my weight's still over this knee. Right. And I've shifted my hip this way, and now I'm going to come back this way. Oh, that one right hurts. Here. Okay. All right. So now what I want you to do is just rock back and forth a few times. Used to that. You're trying now to go imagine, through tension, or are you trying to find tension and bust through it, or just when you feel the tension? Yet. So I just want mesh. you to groove that motion, and so move back that way. Good. Okay. Let's see you move back. Good. So I just want to see the hip break onto each side here. Okay. Now we're going to imagine no weight at all on this leg. It's still going to be here from my right. own standpoint, but you can see I'm, I can pick up anywhere in here. Right. So how we're doing that is we're just balancing that control between the glute and the VMO here. So as I'm going this way, I'm stopping myself with this. Right here. I so got see you. I can, yeah, yeah, I can, I can feel pick it. up. Right. And then I'm going this way, I'm going to stop with the glute. Ow. So you don't have to go very far because this isn't a stretch. We're just oh, cueing, yeah, I got cueing it. movement. We're trying to get the balance between the glute and the VMO, which is going to control right. Build in a booty. The, leg, the, the leg position. So we're just getting it firing. So move back and forth 20 times with like this. So just rocking without this doing any of the work. All the work is right here. This is the most heterosexual thing I've done all day. <laughs> so you can actually reach down, touch those, just make sure that they're firing. Ow. Oh, in my <laughs> and after about 10 to 12 reps, you should feel the glute start firing right. really yeah, hard yeah. on one of those. Switch her up. Switch her up. Owie. Oh, man. So again, all the work, stop in here, stop in here. Stop with this, stop it with this, okay? Okay. Oh. So once you get 20, let me know. It kind of feels good, I just want to go all day. <laughs> does it feel good on your bad hips, Millie? It does. It, it felt like good. fine on this side, but my bad hip, it feels good. Good. Yeah. All right. So now, Looking juicy or what? Activated? Uh, activated? Deactivated. <laughs> this Next, we're going to just go to a, uh, a rear leg elevated split squat, 10 per side. Put one leg on a bench behind you. You want to walk out, make sure your hips stay squared and that you're not opening as you're doing any of this. Right. So we're doing two things. One is, we're working that adductor again and the glute firing on this side as we come through. 
but we're also thinking about pulling back and stretching out this chain. Would you uh, say that like nearly every lifter, anybody that's powerlifting for an extended period of time is probably tight in these areas that, you're, that we're warming up and getting to? Yeah, and so as you're doing it, you wanna be very, there's a good pre-assessment to figure out, hey, am I gonna squat heavy today? Am I gonna deadlift heavy or is, right. there, is there some stuff going on? Right. And then we're gonna work through some stuff. Typically I may find something in that process. And then at the end we'll, re we'll do the, we'll re retest again. Gotcha. So, perfect. 10 per side. And good. Good, you got that floor you're grabbing good this time. Rear legs pulling back, hips aren't opening up. And again, all this you wanna think about the, keeping that tight, rigid core. Because we wanna get that good integration. Yes, right there. So you can always check yourself too. I might have jabbed Mark a little too hard <laughs> earlier, just because, just but you can you can check yourself. Check yourself. Do you have, any, you wreck yourself. Do you have any soft spots in here? I got a lot of soft spots, sadly. <laughs> Interestingly, like if you find uh, a spot where it is soft, the actual hitting is one of the most effective cues for dealing with with that. Yeah. It can tell you kind of oh, tightening up. Hey, this air, this this one right here, I'm really struggling with. Like that. Good. Right. Boom. 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 And you'll actually get it to turn on. Yeah, your body will kind of find a way. Yep. <laughs> My butthole's turned on right now. <laughs> there he goes, working without yeah. a net. Rip that floor. <laughs> there you go. That tight. Let this draw back. You'll notice your knee is almost dropping straight down. So you definitely have got some tension in here that this isn't wanting to open up. You feel that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you want to be able to go back a little bit? Just a little bit. We don't want to. We don't want to get too loose. We're really working more on firing pattern. Oh. So but we should tell you if you have some issues. <laughs> I yeah. got many. <clears throat> Ninety-nine so, problems, but my Bulgarian squat is one. <laughs> and my ass is sore over here already. So out of shape. Uh, I was working with Ed Cohn a couple weeks ago, and we went. Who? Name dropper. Uh, <laughs> We went a couple. Of, we went. A, we went. A, we went a few different directions with uh, uh, some uh, sideline uh, uh, bridges, uh, hip uh, hip extensions. Yeah, yeah. Well, fake hips. Clamshells. Probably bring a different uh, there thing. There was a whole lot of. So there was a whole lot more, like as we worked through some of this stuff. But yeah. This is this is my fairly standard warm up. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it, it varies by. Of course. You know what the lifter is, what you're finding. Yeah. Um, I'm cued. All right. Cued and activated. Well, we're gonna do one last. Yeah, one. I'm in. Uh, which is uh, uh, the hip airplane. Again, this isn't necessarily the standard, but both you guys right. said, you know, hey, we've got some hip yeah, hip yeah. So, um, yeah, I think I saw a video yeah, on so this Yeah, so I've got a pretty, uh, pretty detailed video yeah. and uh, article on this. So what we want to do is get our torso up above uh, the hip at a 45. So we want to be on that plane. So I'm just going to keep one leg. So basically leg to shoulder is going to be straight locked in. So I'm going to have a slight bend in this knee. And I'm gonna go back until I'm at a 45. A lot of people have a tendency to just keep going right. or go too deep. We don't wanna do that. We wanna be at a 45. That's a natural operating plane of the hip. This is actually meant as a uh, self-adjustment tool. Yeah. So if you have a hip that's out of, out of position, um, instead of going to a chiropractor, you can do this and you'll actually feel it pop in. Um, so it's pretty useful, but I also find that it works really well for that glute adductor and also uh, grooving the, you know, right. basically grooving the back of the labrum and the hip joint. So we're gonna get back in here. So we're at a 45. And usually I'll have people start <clears throat> Hold on touching to something. Um, so over at 45. And now I'm basically going to rotate on this hip. So you can see just a slight motion. It's all here, not in the torso. And uh, <clears throat> now I'm gonna I'm gonna open up a little bit more and you're gonna I mean I think about alternating between a skier and a bowler position here. Again, it's all about this right here. So as I'm doing it, as I'm going in this way, I'm actually trying to close the hip. So I'm actually pulling my knee this way mentally. Right. So I'm cueing this and actually closing. And as I open, I'm cueing this direction. So firing that glute and opening away. Go ahead. I'll need yeah. this guy, yeah. There you go. So left so foot. I'm gonna manually grab you and manipulate you a little bit. Hey, this, okay? won't be the so. first time. <laughs> so so uh, slight knee bend. Slight knee bend. Start leaning forward. Forward, let's get that straight. Good, we're 45, okay. Now you're gonna rotate, open the hip, and pull that knee away as you do it. Again. 
Okay, now I'm gonna let you do it a few times yourself. Oh, oh everything's popping. <laughs> Got our music on too. Bam, 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 bam. Usually I just need a few. Once you feel it pop a couple times. Yeah, it feels really good. So, move here. Good. Got to punch you in the face a little bit. <laughs> That's fine. You're closing, yeah, pushing the, you're pushing the oh knee this way, you're pushing the knee the other way as you open. Yeah, right there, this. Yeah, I feel a lot of that. There you go, right there, okay? Now open again. Okay. I got gotcha. you. I'm trying to feel it. There you go. Okay. There you go. I don't want you fucking touching me. <laughs> Pervert. Feels there awesome. Go. A good pop. Awesome and terrible at the same time. <laughs> All right, let's give the other. Uh, I lost side. my virginity on that one. <laughs> <laughs> at least that's what I'll tell you, right? About here, right? Yep. Ow. Like pop on the just, first one. And try to just lightly touch that. Okay. Just want enough for balance there. I feel like I'm really pushing that hip into the yeah. hip socket. Yeah, there. I think I, like uh, just any athlete, they mm -hmm. get like tight through there, right? Like running or soccer or basketball, like football cutting everywhere. Like that'll just wake up everybody. Let's, uh, let's just jump back to the, uh, the goblet spot, what we All started right. with, and uh, see, uh, see how it feels uh, compared to how we started. See what she looks and like. Let's pull some weight. Yeah, deadlifts. Someone's got to pull their own weight around here. <clears throat> Get that floor, take the floor. Floor. Good. Heels aren't pulling up as much. How you feeling over there? Good. Good. Feels a lot better, and we didn't even stretch. Yeah, how the we calf or the do. Achilles or any of that stuff. Yeah, I, I, I really like to, with my warm ups, really focus on getting the muscles to fire and work together right. properly and get them integrated into the core. So, yeah. Um, and then. Not so much of a stretch, but a wake up call. Yep. Well, it's good. Less, We're less sweating. Less stretching, less foam rolling. Yeah. And yeah, you actually get yeah. more primed and ready to, yeah. ready to move. We talk about that too. It's like we like say like do mobility after you work out or on off days. Exactly. But then but then what do you do before? Yep. Well, that's so great. Firing pattern. Yeah, yeah. And especially a lot of people are coming in from either sitting in traffic driving or sitting at a desk right. all day. And that's one of the best things that you can do is getting that stuff. You don't want to jump under a heavy bar right. and not have something working properly. Yeah. Right? So. Awesome. Well, speaking of heavy bars, let's do it. Right? Yeah, let's do some sumo pulling. I hear you're going to pull like 10 plates today. 10, Ten plates. plates. That's the goal. <laughs> 10 plates.